Hey there everyone, it's Mouse Plays, and welcome back to the Create 101 series. This is episode 2, and in this video, we are going to be talking about the mechanical mixer, the blaze burner, and brass ingots. So let's get straight into it. So starting first, here we have the zinc ore. Now the zinc ore is creates ore, I think it's the only ore create has. But basically, zinc can be used many times as a substitution for iron. So in andesite alloys, you can use zinc nuggets instead of iron nuggets to make them. Or for example, when today, when we're gonna make brass later on, you need zinc ingots in combination with copper to make brass. So zinc is used in many create specific things and it can be substituted as iron in create specific things. And when you go ahead and mine zinc ore, you will get raw zinc and then you can smelt that into zinc ingots and then craft that into zinc nuggets like you would any other ingot. So next, this is gonna be something that we're gonna need to craft the mechanical mixer, it's right there. And this is called the whisk. Now the whisk can be created with five iron sheets and two andesite alloys. Now if you didn't watch the last video, go ahead, right, watch it right up there. But we talked about the mechanical press. Now this is basically the first case where you're going to need the mechanical press in Create. So if I go ahead and grab out both these crafting materials, and I throw down my iron ingots under the mechanical press, you'll see it'll drop, and it'll press it one by one. Now this does take a little time, so I'll see you when it's done. All right, and just like that, the iron sheets are all created. Go ahead and pick those up. Now if we come over here to our crafting table, we're just gonna go ahead and craft ourselves a whisk, and it's that simple. All right, so now coming over here to the basin. Now this is going to be used in combination with the mechanical mixer, and this is where you're gonna put your items to be mixed by the mechanical mixer. So coming in here, you can see that a mechanical, a not a mechanical. You can see that a basin is just five andesite alloys. This is pretty simple. I'd say this is the simplest thing that you're going to create today. And basically, this is just going to be used under the mechanical mixer, like a um, cauldron. And that's where you'll put your items to be mixed. Now we actually get to talk about the mechanical mixer. Now, with the mechanical mixer, it's basically a way to, if you have shapeless crafting recipes, you can throw them in the basin and it will go ahead and mix them together. You can also, for example, use a blaze burner, which is coming up next, and that is required for some certain recipes, and of course, making brass. Now do note, when you are running the mechanical mixer, you are going to need to set your whatever source you're using at at least 32 RPM. So of course you can't set that with a motor. Let's see, if I turn it down, it'll say that the, it appears that this mechanical mixer is not rotating with enough speed. So if you go ahead and add more cogwheels to your setup, then you can turn this back up and then the mechanical mixer will work. A minimum of 32 RPM. But basically to craft the mechanical mixer, you're just going to need a cogwheel, which we discussed in the last video, and a site casing, which we discussed in the last video, and the whisk which we just created earlier that'll make you the mechanical mixer and then with the mechanical mixer you can create basically any crafting recipe that's shapeless so for example if i do flint and steel you can see that there's mixing up here and you just throw it into the basin and the mixer will automatically mix these together and make you flint and steel that works for any shapeless crafting recipe. Shapeless means that if you put it in a crafting table, it doesn't have to have a specific order. Now we're gonna talk about what I think is one of the more complicated parts of today. That's the blaze burner. Now you're gonna, I'm gonna make sure you get an empty blaze burner because we are gonna go in the nether and talk about how to capture a blaze. But if I go in here and check it out, it's just four iron sheets and a piece of netherrack. Again, iron sheets made with the mechanical press, and then netherrack is just in the nether. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now is I'm gonna head over to a nether fortress, and I'm gonna show you how to capture a blaze with the blaze burner. 
Alright, so here we are in the Nether Fortress. Now what I've gone ahead and done is found myself a blaze spawner. But all you're going to do is you're going to come up to a blaze. And you are going to right click the blaze. And then that blaze will go in your blaze burner. Now you can do this as many times as you want. Like I can capture all these guys. Get back here. Yeah. And I can have five blaze burners. So you can just capture as many as you want. And that'll be how you capture blazes. Now let's head back. Finally talk about how to make brass. Alright, and now to the final part of our episode. And that is making brass. Now brass, it might seem like a tedious process, but it actually is not. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to grab my zinc and my copper. And these are the two items you're going to need. Zinc we talked about earlier. And copper is the vanilla copper ingot that was added in Minecraft 1.17. Now if we come over here to the mechanical mixer, what you're going to do is you're just going to come up to it, and you're going to throw in your materials. Now see it's not going to start, and that's because we haven't activated the blaze burner yet. So right now the blaze burner is in a sort of dormant state, so it just looks like this you'll see the little head and that means that it's in a dormant state but if I come ahead and grab coal or any block that you use in a furnace and then I right click on the blaze you'll see the blaze comes to life and now the mechanical mixer is working and just like that we have two brass ingots so you can do this over and over see if I grab copper and zinc again can toss it in now do note that this blaze will not last like this forever eventually the blaze will go back to its dormant state so you'll just need to add more coal but that's about it thank you so much for watching this video if you want to watch the rest of the series go ahead and click the card on screen right now and that'll take you to the playlist for create 101 where you'll see how many videos I've made and all, and all the content for the create 101 series where I talk to you about how to play the create mod but that's about it for this video. I'm Mouse Plays. It's been magical, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.